I know what y'all are wondering and I know why y'all clicked on this video. Y'all want to know how I went from this to this. Then just keep watching. Before we get into today's video, I did want to give a huge shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring a portion of this video. They sent over this highlighted wig, super cute, just what I needed to switch it up. Um, they have lots of holiday sales coming up, so make sure you check out the description box below. Let's get into the video. So this video is a little different. It's gonna be a little bit more chill, more vulnerable, more relaxed, and we just gonna get glammed up. It's Friday night. Um, I'm trying to shake like a cold or something like that, so I'm not going to work. Um, I'm just gonna sit here and get cute and open up. And as you guys can tell from the title, we are going to write a letter to like 16, 17 year old Morgan. I'll be 29 next month, December 12th. My name is Morgan for those of you that are new. And I'm also going to be going over things I wish I knew in my early 20s that I've learned up to this point forward. I've kind of somewhat learned the hard way that I wish I kind of knew in advance jumping into like adulthood. I still consider myself kind of like a young adult. I don't think I'm old enough like that, but when I was younger, there were things that I learned a very hard way that I wish I could have like seen where I was going and yeah we're gonna get into it okay i don't want to get too deep right now we're gonna get into it we're gonna start from scratch as you guys can see we got the brillo pad okay we we start from scratch i don't have anything on my face my bags are a little heavy because i've been getting moved in i'm not quite settled yet i'm like 80 percent settled but i've moved i'm safe everything's good and like i said i can't work this weekend i've been moving for the last few days so i was like you know what let's film a chit chat get ready with me slash like motivational talk and like Hopefully someone watching this, if you are, even if you're older than me, but specifically the girls that are younger than me or the same age as me, y'all may be going through some of the things that I went through in my early 20s and hopefully me writing a letter to myself and kind of doing like a visual diary with you guys will help y'all work through something you've either been through or are currently going through. Also, before I start, I do want to say that I'm announcing a huge giveaway, a huge, I have two announcements for giveaways at the end of this video so make sure you watch until the end if you're lazy and you don't want to watch till the end as you guys can see i do have chapters and timestamps if you want to skip to that part but you should watch okay that's the least you can do is watch until the end but i'll give y'all a tea on the giveaways there's going to be a giveaway in this video and then i'm also in this video announcing a project i have coming up in, in december in regards to doing giveaways so you don't want to miss this because this is probably this is the biggest giveaway i think i've done so definitely don't want to miss that the holidays are coming up so it's time to give back and show appreciation i haven't done a giveaway in about 20,000 subscribers and i feel like it's about that time so for the hair i don't know exactly what look i'm going for obviously i'm not going to work so it's not like i have to really have any limitations on that let me put some cocoa some stuff on my lips because they're chapped but yeah i'm not going to work i'm just chilling at the house so i don't know if i want to go like super dramatic and try something new or just keep it simple i think i want to give y'all the perfect like beat for a woman of color like the perfect everyday beat i don't think it's i think it's full face soft glam is what it actually is i think that's what i want to give if i'm being honest so that's what we're gonna do um i didn't know what wig i wanted to put on what look i was going for but i think i want to do like a highlighted wig i did a blonde wig recently and it ate down um but i think i want to switch it up and do some highlights so i'm going to be wearing this wig from nadula um it came in this cute little thing like this let's open her up and see what goodies we got and then we will start writing this letter y'all i'm kind of nervous about that part but it's okay i'm here with y'all y'all here with me i'm not alone we're gonna get through it okay i'm an emotional person so <laughs> forgive me but this is what it comes in what else do we have here satin bag and then we've got some lashes an hd wig cap an edge band and a makeup brush so we are actually going to use some of this right now so while i install this let's go ahead and get into the letter we are writing to 16 year old morgan real quick she's brazilian and she is oh it doesn't have the link on here i'll have the link in in the description box and the link if you guys are interested in this wig 
I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but like I said, I'll have all the specs down below for you guys. But here's what she's given fresh out the box. Plucked, bleached, baby hair is on fleek, customized, and that's exactly what we need tonight. Cause I want tonight to mainly be about the makeup, but I still wanna give with the hair. So this is absolutely perfect. Y'all see that? This is fresh out the box. She is a closure though. So if you are a frontal girly, come on over to the closure side, okay? Where things are nice and easy, okay? Where you don't have to do too much. That's what we like. I don't have to part, I don't have to plug. I can really put this on and have like a few minor touches onto it and that's it. One thing I like about this so far the most is the hairline, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, we gonna put our own little spin twist to this and get started. So, <sighs> writing a letter to my younger self. So dear 16 year old Morgan, um, First of all, I'm so proud of you for getting out of your comfort zone and trying new things. That's first of all, I'm so proud of you. I feel like for a long time, I've always been the type of person where I'm super hard on myself and I'm never satisfied and I have to stop and give myself flowers. I was even like that as a kid. I was hard on myself and didn't feel like I was worthy of praise in a sense. So that's first and foremost, I wanna tell 16 year old B that I'm so proud of you, you are killing it. You are doing a great job and yeah, that's, that's just the first thing I wanna tell myself in this letter. The second thing I would like to tell myself in this letter is you have to listen to your gut. I know right now, you know, you're facing a lot of temptations and you have a lot of confusion and questions that need answers and you feel like oh my god baby i ain't gotta do shit oh wow okay i'm still gonna style it okay you you're going through a lot you have a lot of questions that need answers and you know you're you're just going through a lot and you have questions that need answers and you're you're trying to navigate through life and you feel way older than you are, but trust me, girl, everything is okay. You are just a baby. You do not have to have it all figured out right now. I feel like you're comparing yourself to a lot of people around you and you're not quite sure who you are and that's okay. And yeah, that's another one of the main things I would tell 16 year old me. I feel like when you're in high school, everyone around you is like starting to like get their personality and know what they're interested in and kind of know what direction their life is going to go into and i didn't you know whether it was like sports or whatever i just feel like everyone had like their life mapped out or their parents had it mapped out for them and i was just kind of like uh i feel like i should go to school but my parents ain't really pushing me for that either and i kind of want to run track and play basketball but kind of not my thing either like i'm good at them but you know i'm not i don't want to keep doing them i was just kind of like confused and lost and i was trying to find myself while still trying to navigate preparing to be an adult you know what i'm saying and i want to tell myself it's okay girl we don't figure this out it's okay okay so i went ahead and cut my cap and this has an adjustable strap so I'm just gonna make it tighter because I have a big forehead, but I had a little head. So make it tighter and then we're just gonna put her on. Should I do a thing like that? Or should I just do a middle part? I think I wanna do it like this. Okay, yeah, that's the move. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna curl this with my barrel. Um, I'm just gonna take it curl it throw some loose curls in there and maybe a few layers and i'll come right back this is what it's looking like fresh out of the thing but i want to show y'all what the final thing will look like So this is the difference between me curling it so far and then, oh wait, there's a piece that's not curled. This is the difference between me curling it so far and this side is not curled. So I think it is super pretty, but I'm not doing anything special, just spraying it and then grabbing it and curling it. Okay, so 
Another thing that I would tell my younger self is do not worry about relationships at this point in time. I feel like in high school, like leading up to like, you know, freshman year in college and stuff like that, I feel like when your little pure heart is like caught up in emotions and relationships and you start making that your focus and the fact that you're about to be an adult, you tend to like plan the early years of your adulthood around that relationship, which to me, if you are young and you're in a relationship and it's working out for you, that is absolutely amazing. I'm not telling you leave your nigga and go do your own thing. I'm not saying that, but I am saying like when when you're getting into those relationships where you're like in 10th and 11th grade and like y'all call yourself a start start to get serious sometimes you will kind of put off what your individual future will look like because you're so focused on keeping up with this relationship and what their future looks like so instead of you guys planning a future like somewhat together y'all's future is basically planned around their future plans you get what i'm saying when in all actuality y'all are still kids like i feel like that's a whole other topic but i feel like you should not like as a high schooler be trying to take anyone in high school serious now if you one of those people like i said you got your high school sweetheart and can't nobody tell you shit girl my man my man my man go ahead by all means but to be you know what i'm saying going through some of the things that i went through in my early 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 years of adulthood was kind of around me navigating around like a failed relationship or like you know gravitating what to, towards what i was comfortable with um and what I was used to and my sense of what I thought was love because in my eyes that was the first you know sign of that I had so I feel like I would tell myself 16 17 year old me like do not worry about that right now like think about what you want to do what interests you another thing I would tell myself is trust your gut trust your gut that's kind of a big one to be honest because I have been defiant against my gut for a long time I have been before not so much these days but like those later high school early adult years your girl was not listening to her gut okay I know I already said this but I'm about to finish the hair and come back you guys get the gist I'm curling the hair okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna face frame and then that's it we have this piece and this piece and then we'll be moving on to makeup where I can actually sit and actually just kind of run through it okay i'm not good with these i've never actually done one of these so don't judge me okay just sit for the ride while i pry out all my feelings okay shut the fuck up be right back all right y'all so the hair is pretty much done um i'm just going to spray it and wrap it while i do my makeup just so that i don't mess it up but i'm literally gonna just barely spray it though like just barely like that just in that little part right there and then actually instead of wrapping it i'm just gonna pin it up like this so that it doesn't lose its curl and we can go from there this is glueless so i don't have to do a whole lot i just wanted to throw a curl in it and then i'll show y'all the absolute final look but first let's get the makeup out i did go to ulta today and pick up a few things that i was running out of like brow gel beauty blender and things like that so i'll do like a mini little ulta haul just take five seconds and then we'll jump into this beat okay before you guys attack me i am not a makeup artist brushes are dirty i'm just using what i got and i like the way i do my makeup if you guys don't like a lot of product then you probably won't enjoy this chaotic get ready with me <laughs> You probably won't enjoy this chaotic get ready with me, but just try to, okay? We're gonna get into the tea. Okay, so I'm getting my stuff out, and first thing I think I'm gonna do is show you guys, like I said, what I got from Ulta. Before we get into this Ulta haul, I did wanna stop and give a huge shout out to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. It is very important that you smell and look good. You are a representation of yourself. So I do wanna thank them for contributing to me broadening my horizons when it comes to luxury fragrances because I used to wear like the cheap stuff and the cheap stuff is okay, but I feel like there's a medium which is like affordable and luxury and dossier gives just that so i did want to stop and show you guys this is the smoky mezcal cucumber from their speak easy collection it smells just like the drink i have it on right now as i'm doing this voiceover and y'all this man cannot keep his hands off of me okay i'm like dang i know i smell good but dang <laughs> no but seriously thank you again dossier make sure you guys check out the description box for more information and let's get back into the video 
because I'm going to be using some of it. So let's do that first. So I went to Ulta earlier today because I was like, I don't know if I'm filming this video today or tomorrow. So let me just go today just in case. Good thing I did because here we are chopping it up. Okay. I got a beauty blender. Some more um, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. A little bit of got to be. I got some Milani concealer. Elf Power Grip Primer. Which hazel and then some brow gel fiber tint stuff first thing we're gonna do is rose, this is rose water and glycerin moisturize our face we're gonna go in with this primer and let it sit while we do our eyebrows so anyways yeah i would tell younger self where was i at relationships and not focusing so much on other like a boyfriend or a girlfriend because your girl used to definitely date girls a long time ago i didn't well not really girls I did like I did like one or two girls and I maybe talked to a few girls. It was never that deep. But I really was talking to boys. You know what I'm saying? That was really my jam. But I did used to date girls. I had a girlfriend or whatever. I would just tell my younger self like don't really like focus on that. Try and figure out like what you like. Cause I remember like growing up, I remember I liked drawing, I liked art. I used to pretend I was ringing someone up. I know very weird, but I did. And I feel like I did not give myself a fair chance to figure out what I actually liked. I just was worried about the wrong thing and then jumped into adulthood. Didn't have a fair chance and that and you know, it is what it is. Okay. So I would tell myself that as well. I would also tell myself like it's okay to not fit in because that's something I've struggled with for a really long time was feeling like I had to fill in feeling like I had to fit in because like okay where I was like where I went to school up until like middle school was like a predominantly white area so like I wouldn't say I was completely whitewashed but like by the time I moved to the east side which was in like middle school and you know I was around nothing but black people and the people that weren't black were kind of like Mexican and like kind of hood you know what I'm saying so when I got finally digging around black people they were like damn why you talk like that you think you better than us and you talk proper and you know my name's Morgan you know what I'm saying and they had names that were much more com complex than me and my brothers and it's something that I got like kind of teased about because like in the white schools it's like oh her hair's nappy she's dark skin and you know I'm just different and then I get around the black people and they're kind of like oh she's whitewashed she's bougie she you know she don't belong and it's like for a long time I stressed myself out feeling like why don't I fit in you know what I mean I'm going on with going in with this no I shouldn't let me test the elf by itself for real never mind now I'm going in with the new um gimme brow from benefit Gimme Brow Benefit uh, thing is supposed to be like, it adds fibers and stuff like that. I kind of want to shave my, I've been wanting to shave the end of my brow, so I might as well do it real quick right now. But um, yeah, those are things that I would tell my younger self because they're things that I struggled with and for a long time, I just thought that, you know, me not fitting in or, you know, they all like this thing and I don't like it and I, now I feel weird, you know, or there are certain songs that I listen to that my white friends will put me on that I genuinely like, that I still listen to to this day. And like, people judge me for them. Like the dude I talk to now, I can play whatever in front of him and he not gonna look at me no type of way because he already know, like, you get the best of both worlds with me and that's just what it is, you know? But I feel like figuring out who I am and not trying to fit in is a big part of that. And that's why even nowadays, like a lot of people in my profession, especially like we all have a certain look to people. Like there's a there's a way strippers look. You either look gothy and freaky or you look like ratchet and ghetto, whatever that means. Y'all be telling me that y'all are surprised that I'm a stripper because I don't look like one. What does that mean? I don't have to fit into any one bubble. I really just shave my fucking eyebrow. If I don't like it, they'll grow back, right? I'm cutting the tail off. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Even though it looks manic, I'm, I promise it's not manic. I've been doing my eyebrows different. I don't know if y'all have noticed it, and it's because I've been wanting to cut the tail off of them to where it's like only half a brow, to where I can make it go straight across. See how it's like straight? That's what I wanted. Okay, now we can continue. But yeah, 
don't worry about fitting in figure out what you like and do not let the people around you make you feel like you're weird because you don't fit in like to be honest if i wasn't a dancer y'all be asking me this like what do i think i would have went into i think i probably would have been an artist or like a tattoo artist because i feel like i've always been somewhat alternative and i really enjoyed drawing like I used to be an art major i used to enter contests and place in them and all kind of shit. like it, it used to be a really grand time and i feel like i allowed my environment to kind of suck the artistic side out of me and make me feel like i need to get into sports and disregard everything that i actually enjoyed so you know follow follow what you like and it's okay if you don't like what everyone else likes like that's perfectly okay i'm just going in with this and brushing them up and then i'm gonna go in and fill them in we got the straight brows i'm excited but things i learned in my early 20s and this is just this is off the dome because i did not write down any notes for this i wanted this to be just kind of like real raw and not so like thought out i guess i knew what i wanted to talk about in general but i want to give you all my raw like you know so i don't have any notes or anything like that i'm just going off the dome but things i learned in my early 20s people will show you who they are and it is up to you to believe them or don't and what i mean by that is i'm not talking about like just relationships or anything i'm talking about family friends relationships whatever people will if you pay attention they will show you who they are or what they're capable of and it's up to you if you're going to put yourself in the position to be subject to whatever kind of treatment that is good or bad i've been in a lot of situations where like early on but here's the thing me saying this you still have to use your better judgment like you can't like even with me saying this you have to use your better judgment you know i'm not saying oh they fuck up they gotta go i'm not saying that that may mean that to some of y'all but i'm not saying that i'm just saying like usually we'll deal with situations and find ourselves disappointed time and time again with family with friends with relationships with friendships um all that even jobs you know what i mean and you'll find yourself going through this cycle of something that you don't like about a situation but really like that was presented to you in the beginning and you for whatever reason chose to like overlook it and keep yourself in that situation when you didn't have to so that's one of the main things i've learned Clearly I can't do my brows and um, talk to you guys. So let me do these brows and come right back. Okay, so we are going to actually conceal our brows later. We're moving on as of now. Going in with our NARS foundation in the shade Bellum. Bellum. You can use a beauty blender, a moist beauty blender, or a flat brush. I am going to use a flat brush because I like it like that. So yeah, this is how much we got and I'm just gonna go in all over my face with this. I think our primer is done, so let's see if the primer is really given how everyone says it is. But um, I like, I'm like. i going for really full coverage. I'm trying to get myself a complete makeover right now, so I'm using a lot of product, you don't have to, okay? But anyways, that is one of the things that I really learned in my early 20s was like you know people really will show you who they are and if you ignore that you are going to be in like this cycle and you're just going to be constantly disappointed and frustrated dealing with something that you for whatever reason keep overlooking and that's like that right there is why i went through a lot of the things i went through with friends with men with jobs family like i constantly and i'm not talking shit, but like i guess a part of me puts situations on pedestals higher than what the reality is like i'm super like i'm just super like optimistic and like oh but what if this and what if that like girl no fuck that like it ain't that or that's what it would be you know whether it's family friends or whatever like if that was the case that's what you'd be experiencing but that's not the case you're experiencing some bullshit so why are you putting them on this pedestal and that says a lot about yourself and how you think about yourself because why are you dealing with this type of shit you know what i mean and i'm not saying that each situation that you deal with is going to be perfect because it's not but you know when it's some bullshit and you either can 
take that and you know what I'm saying be thankful for that guidance and that you know bird's eye view and move accordingly or you can ignore it and keep dealing with it and just dig yourself into this rat hole of disappointment which is what I did a lot you know what I'm saying like with my biological dad I feel like I had like from the time I was a little girl I had really high the guy that y'all seen on my um videos as that I bring up my dad that is actually my stepdad if you're from Oklahoma City then you know he's he well, you may or may not know because he claims me but that is my brother's dad he has been around since I was three years old um and that's my dad you know what I'm saying but as far as my bio, bio, biological father um I have siblings from him as well and it's like I feel like I'm just using him for an example because I don't talk to him and I I don't really care if he gets offended from this and he's not in my life right now so I'm just using him as an example because yeah I don't know I just don't give a fuck but I feel like I have had expectations for him because he's an adult and you know what I'm saying he's older than me and he's the parent I didn't ask to be here you know the whole shebang right I feel like I've always had high expectations for him to kind of like mend or cure our relationship or do what he needs to be so that he can be healthy and be in my life and it's like I learned really early on the type of man my dad was and instead of me like taking heed to that and taking it for what it is not for the potential that I saw in the relationship and taking it for what it is I should have just you know a long time ago left my dad alone just you know leave it it is what it is in a perfect world we had the daughter father dance relationship type thing but it's not like that and it it, it, it was never going to be that because of things that took place so it's kind of like I should have took heed to that and you know took it for what it is and not for what I wanted to be and I'm using him as an example but like I said that goes into friendships uh relationships with men jobs just things in general I feel like we have these high expectations for how our experiences are supposed to be with those things and when it's not like that we try and either get in control and make it like that or we just ignore all the things that are bothering us just to have as close to that as we can get and it's just like you're doing yourself a disservice by doing that so that's something i learned the hard way like i'm still kind of learning that in a sense like i still go through moments where i'm like why the fuck you know why am i even but it is what it is you live and you learn and you move on but that's definitely something that i wish i knew early on in my 20s which was to you know take things for what they are don't go against the grain you know what i'm saying do not go against the grain sorry i keep digging in my nose what is something else that I've learned, but I wish I knew in my early 20s? Okay, this is something I'm still working on. And this is less about relationships with other people, but more about the relationship with myself. In my early 20s, I wish I would have been taking my health a little more serious. I know that early 20s is a young age and you feel like you've got all this life to live and now's the time to essentially turn up and you know what I'm saying do this and do that and you don't want to miss out and you know what I'm saying like you just you're just like going with the flow and whatever everyone around you is doing like you want to do it too like I'm gonna go get drunk I'm gonna go to the bar Ooh, the niggas is out da, 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 da. and like there's a lot that comes with like your health your mental is tied into your health everything essentially is tied into your health so whenever you are neglecting your health you're kind of like making every other area of your life worse in a sense and that's something i learned leading up into now that i wish i would have been into early on i'm about to go in with the new milani conceal and perfect longwear concealer in the shade 165 deep tan so i'm about to go in with right now i've never used this but we're using it tonight I'm gonna mix this with my LA girl. I might mix this with Tarte too. My foundation looks a little dark, but it didn't look this dark uh, last week. So I really don't know what that's about, but it'll work out in the end. I'm not worried about it. Oh, my hair is probably washing it out a little bit. My hair is probably a little bit of that. But yeah, I just wish I would have taken my health just a little bit more serious um i know this sounds ridiculous but i would have loved to been like juicing and taking wellness shots and drinking less and you know what i'm saying exercising even if it's just 
walking on a treadmill or something that's something i'm still trying to work on and get consistent with um i need to stop saying try and like decide like next week i'm going to the gym every day no matter what i need to just do that i need to go to the gym every day or five days a week no matter what yep i just decided right now yeah i'm done trying i'm gonna do it okay this video is not only motivating y'all but motivating me too because there's some things that i do but i could do better on i can be more consistent in the gym so i just decided right now that's what i'm gonna do but yeah the the health like in my early 20s i was not caring like i would eat three mcchickens in one night and drink like half a bottle of tequila and it's like girl can you can you just do a little bit better sweetheart like please your body is a temple girl don't be doing all that bullshit chucking and jabbing and that's something i really wish that i would have taken a little bit more serious but i take it serious now so i guess that's all that matters i'm not gonna be myself up about it but it is something that i definitely wish i would have taken serious throughout my early 20 years of life I'm going on in with my LA Girl concealer in Cool Tan now over this one that I just did. Go a little bit lighter. Only doing it in the inner part. Only doing it in the inner part. And while I'm at it, we're gonna go ahead and do carve out the brows while this sits. But yeah, health. Take that so health serious, baby girl. Something else I wish I would have tapped into in my early years is like <sighs> journaling and being thoughtful of like how I speak about myself and what I speak about in general I wasn't too much well I take that back I journaled a little bit in my early 20s but it was more so of like a diary versus like me journaling I wish I would have focused more on actually like journaling you know what I mean because there's a difference between like diary entries and like journaling and scripting and that's what I wish I would have taken a little bit more serious is the journaling and scripting because I was not all the way tapped in oh the straight brows are gonna give I was not all the way tapped into like myself as I should have been you know what I'm saying even now I don't journal as much as I should but I do it way more now than I did in my early 20s, but I feel like that would have helped me a lot in my early 20s. Is keeping that journal on deck and journaling, not just when I'm frustrated and mad, but like in general, you know what I mean? Cause like back then, like I said, it was more so like diary entries, like, ooh, fuck this shit. This shit got me so mad. I'm about to do this, 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 this. And I guess that is like aggressive scripting, but I feel like there was a healthier way to do that. Um, versus how I was doing it. You can journal in light and still have intent behind it. Um, so yeah, that's something I wish I would have focused on in my early 20s. Another thing that I would have focused on in my early 20s is managing my time a little better. I feel like, I'm spraying my beauty blender. I could have managed my time a little better. I feel like I, I used to waste time on like, I don't even mean like situations necessarily i mean in general but also in situations like girl don't spend too much time in one situation if it ain't if it ain't working it ain't working no matter what that is like don't don't keep wasting time because time is so precious like you're in your early 20s you're gonna look up and be 40 and the shit is like it it flies by that fast you know what i mean so that's one of the main things also that i would focus on in my early 20s that i wish i knew in my early 20s was like how to manage my time a little better i'm very stubborn i don't like asking for help um and i just i don't know i used to like rather bump my head than like listen to the signs that i'm giving and just move on like i'm like shit i, I got time I'm, I'm young i guess no baby you never have time to waste you have time to invest yeah but you never have time to just flat out waste like no especially not in my 20s that is the prime time okay and yeah speaking of the last topic of journaling another thing that i wish i would have uh been more uh, tapped into was like celebrating the small wins i've been teaching myself here recently 
trying to teach myself here recently not to wait on like certain milestones before celebrating because that's pretty much saying like where you are at at that current given moment is not worth celebrating like oh well when i get to this amount then it's worth it you know or when i get here then it's worth it or when i accomplish this then it's worth it and it's kind of like downplaying the chapter that you're in now and you're always just like it's okay to want more but i feel like celebrating the small wins no matter how small it is is how you really like appreciate the journey and open yourself up to more opportunities because like if you're never satisfied and you're like okay yeah i did this but i'm not i'm not gonna celebrate till i get here you're gonna keep doing that and keep saying that and you're never gonna like celebrate the small wins and the small wins is how you get to the big wins so that's something i definitely wish i would have focused on in my earlier years is like celebrating myself giving myself flowers and celebrating the small wins as well as the big ones you know i don't know if y'all are religious or not but you know how they be like you know you have to praise god and give thanks not just when you're down but when you're up too it's kind of the same thing like you can't just you can't just only celebrate when like you feel like oh this is the milestone that's worth it like no celebrate the small wins like and it be hitting me when like i'm scrolling on tiktok and i'll see a video that says um i'm celebrating 100 views on my video and it's like that i just be knowing in my head that person is gonna go so far because they're so thankful for the small like they're they're celebrating the small wins they're not saying i remember telling y'all like oh when i hit 5k that's when i'll do merch or whatever and it's honestly because like i thought that was a number that like surely i'm not gonna hit anytime soon and then i hit it like right after that and i'm like damn i ain't prepared to launch no merch and then realized that merch was really not even something i was interested in but i say all that to say you have to celebrate the small wins and know that like those small wins lead up to the big wins you know what i mean you can't just wait till whatever like you may not be where you where you want to be but as long as you're on the way that's a fucking word as long as you're on the way like you may not be going 100 miles per hour but as long as you're going 10 miles per hour when you got gas in the tank you're gonna get there and you have to celebrate that you know so yeah um what is something else that i wish i would have known in my early 20s you want to engage and watch things that are going to inspire you um i feel like in my early 20s i was in i was engaging in a lot of bullshit like on social media and in real life like i was engaging with things that were more so entertaining versus things that were actually going to help me get where i wanted to be and i feel like one thing i've known one thing i've grown to know um throughout this journey of life is that like the things that you engage with they're either gonna help you or keep you stagnant or push you backwards you know like everything that you watch or listen to like some of y'all watching this video y'all are gonna feel motivated after this to like implement the things that i'm saying into your life so watching this is kind of like pushing you forward it's motivational for you am i entertaining at the same time yes but you don't feel like you're necessarily just wasting your time watching this like you see value for whatever reason in this video right and i feel like i engaged in a lot of mess and bullshit growing up you know what i mean i didn't really like entertain or engage with things that would just strictly motivate me i will say at one point i thought i was doing that and i really wasn't but you know my heart was in the right space at that moment the chapter that i'm thinking about but in general i feel like i entertained a lot of things that i knew were not for my greater good essentially like watching certain shows now don't get me wrong i watched baddies east earlier okay with natalie and them i me and my dude be watching that shit on sundays munching on our little snacks having a good time i'm not saying every single thing you come in contact with has to be a motivational speech or a steve harvey speech i'm not saying that but i'm saying the majority of things that you partake in and the music you listen to and like the people you hang around and stuff like that there has to be some type of like i'm not saying you need to be using everyone around you i'm not saying that either but i'm saying there has to be you have to be surrounding yourself and feeding your mind body and soul with things that are going to motivate you or you know put a put a fire under your ass you know what i mean 
and I feel like in my early 20s I was just in la la land I was just running around doing whatever I was always getting to the bag but like I would have like I worked at Hooters and bikinis and Twin Peaks and you know I never like I was always on my money like sometimes I would fall short and be broke like I can remember a few times where I was flat ass broke but overall like I stayed with a job even if it was different jobs like I get different jobs every few weeks like it don't matter I stay with a job but I feel like the friends I had and like the things I was listening to and like the stuff I was partaking in on a daily basis just wasn't really going to put me in a better position or motivate me to be in a better position than I was in that moment. And that's what I'm saying, like watching who you hang out with, what you do, what you're, you know, partaking in and just things like that. Like you want to kind of make sure what you're giving your energy to is going to like help you. And that's why honestly also like I only watch stripper vlogs when I when I feel like I don't want to go to work. I'm never just sitting up just watching stripper vlogs. I watch them when I don't want to go to work and I watch the video and I watch the bitch count her bread and then I usually get dressed and go. <laughs> but I'm not just sitting up watching it because I feel like watching content that is like a little bit more, how do I say it? Like motivating in other categories like outside of dancing is what I would rather partake in. Like I want to see someone meal prep or like the, their healthy habits or their maintenance vlog or their self care vlog or like you know how to become a better version of you or like just their daily week in the life vlogs but they're like they motivate me and I know how I feel when I get done watching them. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I definitely wish that I would have partaken in. Like I dead ass used to look up like girl fights at the park <laughs> like I used to look up fights on uh on YouTube or like just bullshit like I like it was never like nothing that really like helped me but now I'm looking up like juice and recipes and I know a lot of that comes with age but I feel like that's one thing I would definitely pay attention to in my early 20s is like what are you putting what are you feeding yourself like on a day-to-day -day basis don't get it wrong, I be scrolling on TikTok like a motherfucker, but overall, I'm looking at things that motivate me or help me. So yeah, I'm gonna go back in with Tarte um, Creaseless Concealer because your girl got bags, and this is the shade Tandy. I'm gonna go in with this, like, that. Almost said just a little bit, that's more than a little bit. Yeah. And let's get back blending these eyes. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. But yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna finish these eyebrows and blend them out. But another thing that I would really like focus on and wish I knew in my early 20s was is there something you wanna do? You have to just do it. Like, you cannot be worried about how other people are going to view you, um, if people are going to judge you, how your family is going to feel about it, how your friends are going to feel about it, who's going to make fun of you at your job or at school, or like the, the judgment that comes with doing things for yourself in general, you cannot worry about that. You have to just go for it, even if it doesn't make sense to other people. Like, God gave you your vision for a reason. Like, it, you telling somebody something, expecting them to understand it and support you is kind of ridiculous because they didn't get the vision you did. So if there's something you want to start doing, no, 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 no. If there's something you want to start doing, whether it be like cooking better or eating less or starting to post on Instagram or starting your YouTube journey or you know what I'm saying? There's things that people will do or say to make you feel like, make you feel stupid for wanting to do it. You know what I mean? Like, ah, uh, she she wanna start a YouTube. She thinks she famous. Like, no bitch, actually you do. Like, you know, don't let people bully you or, oh, she ain't, she she eating healthy. She, she wanna be bougie, she eating a salad. Like, people will dead ass make fun of you for doing things that you want to do. Do not worry about that and do, let, do not let judgment of other people steer you from what your heart is desiring and it may be something that you try and you realize that you don't like it but guess what you're never gonna know that if you don't try it worried about what other people will say you know what i'm saying like i don't know you just i don't know people i would tell you this now no matter what you do good or bad people are going to talk about you like have y'all scrolled through my comments 
people will talk about you like a dog it don't matter what you're doing whether you giving back or not whether you cussing or not whether you fat or skinny whether you eating shitty or good whether you stripping or nine to five it don't matter people are going to have something to say about your life because everyone's raised differently and everyone's brought up differently so to someone you're ugly to someone you're fat to someone you're skinny to someone you're black as hell to someone you have terrible grammar to someone you're fake to so you know to someone you're gonna look crazy every person is gonna look off to somebody so you cannot think about that when you're wanting to try new things you just have to try them for you if that's what you want to do then do just that whatever that thing may be and you know that i i delayed my youtube journey for years for years wondering like oh people ain't gonna and people ain't gonna follow me like nobody's gonna subscribe to me my videos aren't gonna do good what am i gonna talk about my life's boring like you know i i really had those thoughts and if i would have started my youtube journey when i first when it like first crossed my mind before i let fear kind of corrupt my thought process with it ain't no telling where i would have been now don't get me wrong everything happens for a reason and my journey is supposed to go exactly how it's going so i'm not fucked up about it but i will say that i do believe worrying about how people are going to feel about things changes that you want to make within your life will keep you from being your true self you know what I mean? I remember this one time, this is when I was going to the white schools. I went to more Bryant Elementary and more, you guys know. And I remember one day I went to school and I was crying so hard because like it was cold outside. I think it was around like November, December or something. And um, my mom bought me these cute boots with fur and they were just, I mean, they were so cute. And I remember she woke me up for school, we were getting dressed or whatever. I was maybe in like, third fourth fifth grade one of those i don't know i remember getting dressed and you know my boots were real cute and you know they were wearing uggs just normal right or like those little slipper uggs and so i had some like boots that went up to my calf they had fur on them and stuff i'm like they're so cute but like i don't see any girls wearing this at school so i was kind of like nervous like oh my god like i like them but they're probably not gonna like them and everyone's gonna make fun of me and just like a whole bunch of bullshit right and my mom tucked my jeans into my boots and i lost it i said no untuck these jeans now i mean like i was i was upset like i was freaking out i thought nobody would like my shoes and what if nobody likes them or whatever and i get to school and i remember like half the students were kind of looking at me kind of funny and kind of figuring out like they wanted to make fun of me but they couldn't because they kind of liked them and i remember being so nervous thinking like i hope they don't make fun of me and finally one of the meanest girls was like i like your boots and i kind of <laughs> i had a sense of relief but i was like you know what even if she didn't like them I like them, so I'm gonna keep them like this. I'm not gonna untuck my jeans because I'm worried about what the fuck y'all gonna say or how y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I know that's a little silly example because, you know, as a kid, none of us wanna be made fun of, but my point in saying that is like, to this day, I love tucking my jeans into my, my, my boots with my fur and stuff. And it's like, had my mama not did that, or if I'd have been worried about what everybody else is doing, I would have never done it. And I would have never realized that I actually did like that style and I really did like those boots. That's just a very small, silly, kitty example, but that applies in real life. Like, if you wanna do something, if you wanna start a journey for yourself, doesn't matter what type of journey it is, if you want to do something for yourself, just do it. Because if you're waiting on the approval or validation of everyone around you, from your friends, your family, your coworkers, and shit like that, you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're not gonna get the support that you think that you're about to get you're not gonna get it when i first started my YouTube, my youtube channel people did not support me people don't support me now like obviously y'all do but i'm saying like people that i went to school with that I, or that i know in like real life like a few of them like support my channel you know what i'm saying but i remember asking some of them to subscribe my channel they would ignore me they wouldn't right, respond right back to me or nothing like that and now y'all trying to get put on Y'all wanna know who making my intros and outros and how hard it was to grow on platform and how do I do this and how do I do this? Not now y'all want help, but y'all wasn't y'all y'all discouraged me. You know what I'm saying? So everything comes full circle. Do not allow like the thought of what are they gonna say or what are they gonna think keep you from doing something that's truly on your heart. Just do it. Even if you don't like it, just do it. 
So now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade translucent honey and it's brand new. She is brand spanking new. I'm liking the straight eyebrows so far. We're going to touch them up a little bit, but as of now, they're really good. So this is a brand new powder. Mm-hmm. All these brushes are Morphe besides this one Real Technique brush that I'm going to use, which is this one. But all these are from the Morphe set. If you go in and buy, there's like an eye pack, a foundation pack, and a precision pack. If you buy all three of those, you'll have all these brushes. So yeah, I'm not providing like brush numbers and stuff like that because again, I'm just a normal girl doing makeup. I don't consider myself a guru or nothing like that. I used to do makeup. I ain't going to sit here and flex. I used to do makeup back home in Oklahoma City. But I realized real quick that... I didn't want to do it and guess what i didn't give a fuck how nobody felt about it when i was trying or after i don't care i tried it, i didn't like it and I moved on so we're going in with this now what i'm going to do is set it no i'm going to set it before i bake it so let's blend one more time which by the way this primer was freaking amazing but yeah, you cannot worry about what people say. Now, after I set the under eye, then I'll go in with this brush and kind of like set the face. Because I use a powder contour. I just use eyeshadow for contour. So I want to make sure that it's going to actually do what it needs to do so we're gonna set this all over it's okay if it gets into the brows just buff it out okay we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere okay where are we going now let's go ahead and bake now except for we're putting a lot Okay, we're gonna let that sit while we do some eyeshadow. And we are using our Juvia's Place, and I use this for contour, and I use this for eyeshadow. So I'm just taking this brush right here on Morphe, and I'm gonna mix this and this, dust it off. We wanna go in with a little bit of powder first though, the same translucent, to make sure that we don't have harsh lines. We've already concealed up here, so we just wanna set it a little bit, and then go in. Again, this is just what I do. I am no Kiki Adams, okay? If you don't know who if you don't know who that is, look her up. If you know, you know. I ain't no Kiki, but hey, I get the job done, okay? That's all that matters. And we're actually not that far from being done. So like I said, we mix these two right here. And I want to drag my eye out. So I'm gonna start way out here and do like that. In like a windshield wiper motion. I'm trying to give myself like a slight facelift. So this is what we're doing. Okay, do it on the other side. Give it some depth. Oh my God, I'm in love with my eyebrows. Okay, back to things I wish I knew in my early 20s. You cannot hold grudges. You cannot hold a grudge. Now you can understand that someone has you fucked up and you can move with caution, you can, you know not fuck with them no more whatever you want to do but i feel like holding a grudge like when you add the word grudge into it now you're doing yourself like like you're kind of like you're holding negative energy when you hold a grudge you cannot fuck with someone no more and still not hold a grudge like there's people to this day where like it did not work out between me and them whether it's friends or niggas or whatever and i don't hate them if i seen them today i would not slap them i don't wish bad on them I don't hold a grudge. I just would never fuck with them in that same capacity. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not like, I'm not holding a grudge with them. And then I'm going to go in with the darker color in the crease. Crease, 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 crease. And then I'm going to take this, this regular brush, but just brown. And I'm just going to blend out the edges. Just like that, just a little bit. 
But yeah, don't hold grudges. I feel like, like I said, there's a way to not fuck with somebody no more and don't hold no grudges. Like there's people right now that's probably watching this like, damn, that's what it is. Like she don't fuck with me, but she not mad at me. But like, yeah, ain't no bad blood. I'm not mad at you. I just, I don't hold grudges. I just, like I said, I'm starting to take shit for what it is in a part of that. A part of me taking stuff for what it is is knowing when to like just fall back gracefully without like holding a grudge or wishing bad on them or talking shit about them or whatever you know what i mean i feel like holding grudges is you just bottling up the experiences the experience you had of the person like having you fucked up you're keeping it bottled up inside of you and that's not fair like they already had you fucked up don't waste any more energy on like holding the grudge just fall back gracefully and just let it be what it is. There's no need in holding a grudge. You're not gonna do anything but hold negative energy in, which we don't want that. So what we're gonna do now is do the lashes real quick. We're gonna slap some on top of these. I know these look crazy, but I've been going through some stuff and then I was moving. So I was not able to get my lashes done. I have an appointment on Tuesday and I'm taking y'all with me. So I don't want to hear y'all talking shit about my lashes. Now, actually, let me see the lashes that came with this wig. Because this wig came with lashes. Let me see what they hitting for. I may just use the ones that it came with. I just want to layer them on top of the ones that I have on right now. Yep, that'll do it. So these are lashes that came with the wig. We'll be putting these on now. If I can find some track glue, I'm using some lash glue. Let me think, what else do I wish I learned in my early 20s? Oh, stop focusing on having a best friend. Oh my God. I feel like I had to have a best friend. Like I had to have a bestie. Somebody I was just, oh my God. Like I, I was, one thing about it, I had me a best friend or two or three. Bitch, I had a bestie, okay? And I like, it was like, it's nothing wrong with having friends. There's nothing wrong with having best friends, but you have to be able to like do things on your own, make moves on your own, figure out what you like on your own. That's what I'm saying. Like in your early twenties, you really should be focused on like who you are as a person and who you want to be. And it's not just about your twenties. Cause hell, all this shit I'm telling y'all right now, I'm still experiencing and dealing with right now. Like I'm still working on all these things. I'm just doing them better now than I was back then. And I wish I would have been doing it this whole time. But like, Focusing on a bestie, that's a big one because although there's nothing wrong with having healthy friendships and relationships, I feel like at some point it gets to be a little bit too much. You get what I'm saying? Like there has to be balance. And I feel like if you always got to have like a roommate or like just, you know what I'm saying? Just always a bestie, then it's, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work. Like me and my best friend will hop jobs together. Like it was bad. Like. I'm, I don't know, I've, I've, I just used to be like that in my early years. Like I was big on having a ride or die and like ripping and running with somebody and it's just, that's not the business. Let's put these lashes on real quick. Now I know y'all have been asking for a faux freckle tutorial. You will be getting it today. Okay, so the lashes are on. Now we just need to pop some mascara to the bottom, to the, to the um, the actual extensions because you can see the foundation on the extensions. So I'm just gonna buff them with some mascara. These lashes are big, but that's okay. I don't mind it. I don't mind. Okay. Now we are going to get all this powder off but yeah don't I wish I would have not focused on the best friend another thing that I wish I would have focused on like or another thing I wish I would have kind of learned in my early 20s is I cannot beat myself up for lack of knowledge now there are certain things y'all ever heard the saying like if you knew better you do better there are certain things where like, I knew better and it's okay to kind of somewhat beat myself up 
in those situations but there are certain things where it's like girl you literally did not know any better like what what else were you supposed to do like you literally didn't know any better and it's okay and then after the fact of situations i would catch myself beating myself up and it's like can you relax you literally didn't know any better you know what i mean like it's okay and i spent a lot of time in my early 20s beating myself up over a situation that i just i all i can say without giving too much detail was i i didn't know any better and um you know i can't i can't beat myself up and i can't allow nobody else to beat me up about it either not physically because bitch ain't never happened but you get what i'm saying like i can't allow other people to like blame me or be hard on me about things that i had literally a, a lack of knowledge for now if it's something that i just absolutely knew i had no business partaking in then you know whatever but the things that you didn't really know what are you gonna be yourself up for like what's the point what's the point we're going in with this brown shade on our lower lash line and then we're gonna go in with um black on our lower lash line i just want to smoke the bottom out i cannot wait to announce the giveaway with y'all but coming soon i have to tell y'all that at the end okay Smoking the bottom out really does give me like life. And also this new primer goes crazy. But I was nervous about it at first because it was very like tacky very quickly. Like basically the minute I put it on it was tacky. That's why I did two or eight layers because I was nervous. I'm like, wait, was it supposed to dry that fast? But uh, I love it. What else do I wish I would learn in my early 20s? Don't cause a scene. There were times where people had me messed up and I feel like causing a scene just wasn't the best idea. Um, but I mastered that pretty early on in my in like mid twenties. I mastered not causing a scene. People had me messed up and that's a big one because like, like I've mentioned y'all before, like I've watched people in my family react to situation and cause scenes and it cost them like a lot of their adulthood because of that one time where they're reacting and it's like you have to learn from people the good and the bad like you cannot go around reacting off of emotions and causing scenes and things of that nature i used to cause scenes but i learned very quickly that that was not the thing to do and i think that that's super important to be able to assess a situation and decide like i'm actually going with the lancome mascara on my bottom bottom lashes um, and I want them very chunky. But yeah, I had to realize that like early on, like you can't be turned up at the party. I don't want the game, you know? You have to just play it cool. Another thing I wish I knew in my early 20s was taking care of yourself is more important than anything. And um, this one's for my moms out there and I know this is gonna sound crazy when it first comes out of my mouth but just hear me out taking care of yourself is literally more important than taking care of your kid and I know that sounds fucked up but if you listen to me you understand when I say taking care of yourself is more important than taking care of your kid I don't mean like just go drop your kid off and just be like fuck that or you know what I'm saying I'm not saying don't take care of your responsibilities that is not what I'm saying, so please don't get it fucked up because that's definitely not what I'm saying. What I am saying, though, is you have to make time for yourself for your self-care. Whether you have a relationship or whether you have a kid or whether you live with family or whether you have a room, whatever the situation is, whether you have a high-stretch job or whether you're a stay-at-home wife, it don't matter. You have to have to have to make time to put yourself first and take care of yourself because if not you are not going to be able to pour into others like you would like to and that and i'm not saying you only take care of yourself just so you can take care of other people i'm not saying that i'm saying you deserve it but i'm just saying imagine trying to pour into your kids or your spouse or have a good productive day at work or something like that and you have not taken care of yourself it's not fair and it's just unrealistic you cannot you you can only pour out of what's in your cup you get what i'm saying you can only pour out of what's in your cup i'm going in with these two shades to start the first layer of blush 
and I'm getting kind of close to my eye um, and going in a upward because we're trying to give the face a little natural lift. But yeah, you have to take care of yourself. Like there's no way in hell I can go to work and be productive or like be of any value if I'm stressed out and I'm tired. And I'm not saying like the basic level, like we're all stressed out and tired. I'm just saying like, you know when you need a day to yourself, you know when you gotta like give it a break. And there's no way you can go to work and perform like your best or do your best at anything. You cannot be, you just, not you're not giving anything like a fair shot if you're just doing it while you're stressed out and tired and frustrated and you haven't had a day to like pour it into your own cup you cannot give anyone around you the best version of yourself if you're not pouring to yourself first so i feel like no matter what position you're in even if it means going to the gas station and getting your favorite snacks and eating them in your car by yourself and not sharing them with anyone, whatever it means for you to just have that little moment to yourself where you're not serving others and you're just relaxed, you're not answering to anyone, you're doing whatever's making you happy, that is the absolute most important thing like in life basically. Like you have to take care of yourself because guess what, if you neglect yourself for that job, that job will have you replaced before you can even fucking finish crying, okay? That job, I'm not saying for that job, but that job don't give a damn about you is what I'm saying. Um, so I feel like just, it's okay to call in sometime and say you're sick. And I know bills is due, but guess what? They gonna get paid. I'm not saying do this all the time, within reason. You know your situation, but take time for yourself. No matter what profession you're in, no matter. And, and here's the thing, I hate how nowadays this generation makes you feel like if you don't have kids, you should not be struggling or stressed out. Can you please be fucking for real? Like, if you don't have kids right now, I'm still talking to you. If you are feeling stressed out or you feel financially behind or just whatever the case may be, just because you don't have kids doesn't mean that those feelings aren't valid. I see a lot of posts that be like, y'all get on my nerves, stressed out, I ain't even got no kids. What the fuck you stressed for? You should be up. And like, I get it, but at the same time, People with no kids have a completely different struggle than people with kids, so you cannot judge them and tell them that their feelings are not valid for feeling stretched thin or stressed out because we get stretched just like anyone else does. Um, you don't get a reward for having a kid and being stressed. You're still a stressed human being, you just happen to have a kid. Everyone gets stressed, you know what I'm saying? So don't make society make you, don't let society make you feel like, you know, if you don't have a kid, then you shouldn't be stressing like that. Like, mama. Be for real. Be for real. And that's something I felt like for a while too, cause like, you always hear as a kid, like wait till you get in the real world. You gonna see, you gonna see. God damn it, I see, okay? I see, and I ain't even got no kids, and I see. That's exactly what you guys are talking about. I get it now. So, just make sure you're taking time for yourself. Please, 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 please make time for yourself. I want to make the tail end of my eyebrow a little sharper. I'm just scared. Let's do it with this. I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hill. And I'm just trying to make the tail end. Now, where is our blush? This is the NYX Powder Blush in the shade Cinnamon. I got this off of Amazon. And I want a little bit slightly heavy blush. So we're going in heavy with it. Going in, going in. Some on the nose. Some on the nose. Heavy, 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 heavy. Another thing that I wish I would have done in my early 20s is have faith and stop trying to be in control so much. Like, you have to know that this shit is going to work out and just focus on the solution instead of freaking out trying to get in control. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be in control and finding a solution, but at some point, it, at some point, it gets a little ridiculous that you're more focused on trying to avoid like the issue happening, and then you're making it happen by freaking out, trying to get in control, versus just like getting a solution in case it does happen. Okay, now it's happening. Now we're prepared for it. You know what I mean? You have to have faith. You have to have faith, but at the same time, 
like the bible says faith without work is dead okay i may not be a bible reading ass like mm, but there are i feel like no matter what religion you are there's good things that you can take from all of them and i feel like that is a huge one like i used to want to get walk by faith tattooed on my foot i didn't do it but i used to want to and it's something i still stand by like i feel like you have to have faith and you cannot freak out you have to when things go wrong in your life or you have that little feeling that they're about to go wrong instead of freaking the fuck out just think really quickly and when i mean quickly i mean quickly what's the solution and if you want to be a little bit more ahead of the game when you're doing things and maneuvering a certain way just think okay if this happens and i got then i'm gonna do this that way when it happens you don't have to think it's time for the plan b you know what i mean because here's the thing shit's gonna happen shit's gonna happen you can be as cautious you can be as careful as strategic as whatever as you want to be this shit's still going to sometimes go a way that you did not think it would go and you have to be able to roll with the punches and walk walk by faith you have to be able to know like okay this shit did not go how i planned but it's okay because this is what we're gonna do this this is how we're gonna roll with it and, and that's literally it like you have to be able to adapt and when i say quickly i mean quickly like you don't have time to freak out you don't have the time to freak out for real okay so i want to do a little bit of highlights this is our mac gold deposit this is the og highlighter i'm gonna go in with this with the, my blush brush y'all look how pigmented it is but i'm just gonna go in with that and just hit my high points and blend it out i'm trying to blend it as much as possible to avoid any harsh lines hit the nose the bridge of the nose and then hit this side okay we're about to go ahead and go in with our this is messed up but this is the mac chestnut but it, the shit's rubbed off but that's what this is and we're gonna overline yes i said overline if it looks like i have a mustache look this is before i actually have a mustache okay so the lip liner is not making me look like i have mustache i actually have one so stop saying that because i know that okay anyways another thing that um i might eat on live after this but another thing that I would preach to my younger self and something I wish I would tell myself in my early 20s is do not give up. It is possible. Like don't don't give up. And that goes for any age. Like do not give up. If you are wanting a relationship with a certain person to work, like say you're wanting to I don't know, get a healthy relationship with uh, a family member. No, 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 that's not a good example. Cause fuck that, but like just, I don't know, just certain things that you have going on, you know whether it's worth like fighting for or not. I feel like a lot of us want instant gratification for things like as soon as you try something, you want it to be like perfect, peachy, kingy, like, and that's just not very realistic. Um, this shit is gonna take some like, y'all wasn't gonna tell me I had a booger? Thank you ass motherfuckers. That's why I don't fuck with y'all for real. Like, y'all wasn't gonna tell me I had a booger? No, I'm just playing, I love y'all. But, um, yeah, just certain things, you know if the situation is, is worth working on. Like, if you're really giving something your absolute all and it's not working instantly we tend to want to give up like fuck it like you, we don't want to like put the work in and it's like you can't give up you really can't like and i've learned that like you cannot give up on whether it's your dreams um a relationship yourself you know learning how to be a parent learning how to cope with trauma like i don't know what you're going through but whatever it is on god the only way you will not get over the hump and see the light is by giving up if you don't give up you're gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel like i wholeheartedly firmly i'm a believer like i'm a like don't give up ass bitch like i feel like you're gonna you just have to keep at it you're gonna see the end 
you're gonna you're gonna get what you're looking for you just can't give up the only way it doesn't work is if you give up whatever you're trying to get at the only way you won't see it is if you stop trying to get there if you keep at it and you keep educating yourself you have to always be open to be a student at whatever whatever it is you keep educating yourself and you keep learning and you keep applying yourself it's yours you just can't give up and you have to be patient. You can't expect shit to happen overnight because if you do, you're gonna be mad as fuck because it's not, I'll tell you that right now, whatever it is, it's not gonna happen overnight, like at all. You're gonna have to be patient. You're gonna have to be a little bit realistic. Some things happen overnight for some people and some things don't. And you have to just, like I said, be willing to keep keep going, keep trying, keep, keep pushing at it, whatever it is. You cannot give up. I can't name one thing right now that's more important than what I want out of this lifetime. I can't name one thing or one person that's worth me giving up on myself, on my dreams. You know what I'm saying? I can't think of one thing, literally not one. So with that being said, I'm not going to let nothing come in between me and what I'm trying to get done or accomplish because I can't name one thing that's worth me giving up what I see for myself. So I'm not going to stop until I'm there. And when I'm there, I'm not going to stop and keep going. You feel me? So, yeah, you cannot give up. That's like, like, one, probably one of the most important. I feel like I've said a lot of important things, but that's probably one of the most important things I've said. You cannot give up, y'all. Okay, so, the lips did not turn out how I wanted, but I'm not going to change them. I'm about to go in with this airbrush setting spray, flawless party all night, stay all day spray. Got it from Sephora. Generous amount because we're taking pictures after this. And let's freshen back up the hair. All right, y'all. So this is the final look. Let me get up close. Do y'all like the straight brows? They're a little bulky, but it's okay. And y'all, one thing I love most about this wig is after I wash my makeup, she comes right off, okay? So yes, we love a convenient unit. Thank you so much and doula for sponsoring a portion of today's video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Ready with me, chit chat. I guess updated makeup routine. I was supposed to do the freckles and I completely forgot. I can do them right now actually, before we end this. So this is a freckle pin I got off of Amazon. This is the ghettoest get ready with me ever. But this is a freckle pin I got off of Amazon and it comes like this. And it's literally just a pen. It's like a little marker and you just mark all over until you have your desired look of freckles. I can put y'all up close so y'all can see a little better. But you just do like this, wherever you want, all over. Put big ones randomly. And then you want to mark it with your hand to lighten them a little bit. Shout out to my sister because she actually provided this pen. Freckle pen. She gave it to me one time when I was in Oklahoma. But boom, now we have freckles. So that is it. But I really, really enjoy this unit. If you are interested in this, I will have the information for this unit in the description box below. If you are interested in dossier, I'll have the information for the dossier fragrances um, listed down below as well as a discount code for you to save some coin. Um, but yeah, this is the look and I absolutely love it. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you like to get ready with me and chit chat, um, do my hair and updated makeup tutorial then just let me know if you want more of these um as far as the giveaways let me go ahead and announce the giveaways now so if you are still here hey girl so for this particular video i have a brand new wig that i'm giving away okay i'm not gonna tell you exactly what brand it is or anything like that but it is brand new it is pre-plucked it is pre-customized. It is still in the it's still in the box and it is ready to go. I am going to ship it to one lucky winner. Before I announce how to enter the giveaway, I first want to say 
thank y'all so 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 much if you have ever watched my video liked my video commented on my video shared my video giving me criticism um giving me feedback supported me through a hard time i mean some of y'all have been here since bbls in texas and um little darlings in dallas like y'all have been here for real for real and y'all have watched me grow up i feel like we kind of like friends at this point um last year around november i did a 20k giveaway right now we're creeping up on 40k and i was like why not do another giveaway so i'm i have two announcements for you for one this giveaway attached to this particular video right here this video, the giveaway is going to be open for one week from today, the day that I'm posting it. It will be open for one week, seven full days, and then I will close it. If you're watching this right now and the caption says closed, um, or the description box says giveaway closed, then unfortunately it's closed, but I'm leaving it up seven days from the day that the, this particular video went live, this chit chat that we're doing right now. Um, the way you enter is comment, um i had in mind three hearts but i kind of want to make it something where you comment something okay you can comment three hearts and actually you know what i'm gonna have two different ways you can enter okay if you want to just comment three hearts that's an entry okay if you want to just leave three three heart comments that's an entry another way you can enter is say you can write write a comment under this video explaining what type of content you like from me the most and why or what type of content you want to see from me the most and why i think that's fair i think last time i did like what self-care means to you or something like that but if you don't want to write a, a a comment or anything like that if you want to just put the three hearts then that's fine but if you want you can enter this as many times as you'd like okay so if you want to enter your name into the bucket five times you'll do three hearts post three hearts post three hearts post three hearts post each comment is an entry so yeah each comment is an entry um you can enter this as many times as you like it's free um and that's pretty much it the wig is brand new and it is so nice it is so 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 nice and it's from a company that has really amazing hair um y'all have seen this seen them on this channel before and they have absolutely amazing hair but like i said it's a brand new wig i have not even worn it yet i opened the package to see how the wig looks so i know exactly what it looks like um i'm not gonna tell y'all because it's a surprise but that's the first announcement if you want to enter into it you can either leave just three hearts under this video or you can write your favorite type of content that you've seen me do whether it's cooking or day in the life or week in the life and put why so I like your segments, your cooking segments, because they motivated me to cook at my house with three hearts. Comment, boom, that's one entry. You have to be subscribed and you have to give this video a thumbs up. Those are my only requirements. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment, either one of two things, either three hearts by themselves, comment, or my your favorite type of content for me with three hearts. You can enter as many times as you want. The more time you enter, the better chance you have of winning the wig. But it's up to you. If you want to enter a hundred times, you can do that. Okay? That's just more, more of a chance for you to win. But I'm so excited. I just want to tell y'all I love y'all and I appreciate y'all so much. And yeah, I'm so excited for this. And it came to me like that. And then my friend also, we came up with another concept. So make sure you're listening right now. There's another giveaway going on. But this one is much more bigger. In December... I am doing the 12 days of Christmas, okay? Hear me out. There will be 12 vlogs in the month of December, which is also my birthday month, which is also Christmas. So we are giving back like crazy, okay? There will be 12 vlogs, and this series is going to be called the 12 days of Christmas, okay? There will be a playlist called 12 days of Christmas 2023. So in these 12 vlogs under this playlist, I will announce a giveaway just like today. The only difference is 
these the 12 days of Christmas you'll be able to enter 12 different giveaways the entire month so if you see a video that's titled 12 days of Christmas you have a chance of winning the giveaway for that vlog there will be 12 vlogs that will have a giveaway attached to them all of them will be conducted just like this one I'll announce the giveaway in the vlog you'll have to be subscribed thumbs up and comment I don't know what I'm gonna run the comments differently but you make sure your notification bell is on make sure you are subscribed and make sure you are being notified whenever I post because the 12 days of Christmas I have never done this before I've never seen this done before we're doing 12 days of Christmas they're not gonna be consecutive it's just gonna be 12 different vlogs over the course of December 1st through December 25th on New Year's I'm going to announce the 12 winners. There's gonna be one winner from each day of the 12 days of Christmas, okay? And you will get a goodie package from me, uh, personalized and everything. I'm not gonna tell y'all exactly what's gonna be in there, but you get obviously you're gonna get a wig, you're gonna get some self-care stuff, and I might throw a little goodie extra surprise in there for you. But make sure you are tuned in and on top of what's going on because it's November um, 3rd or something like that right now. 12 days of Christmas is right around the corner, okay? And we are turning up this month of December, okay? It's the holidays. It's time to give back. It's that season. I love y'all so much, and I'm so glad that I'm evil, even in this position to be able to give back and do giveaways and stuff like that. I never imagined. I tried selling my wigs. I, I'm sorry I ain't going to do that, but I'll give them to you for free, okay? That's it. That's that's it. That's all. Because y'all be inboxing me and emailing me about the wigs. Can you sell this one? Can you sell this one? I'm sorry. I cannot. But I can give them away. Okay. So, yeah. That's it for this giveaway. If you want to participate, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you comment down below. Um, if you have any questions on the giveaway, then drop them down below as well. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I love y'all so much. I'm so excited for the 12 days of Christmas. But for now, let's go ahead and do this unit which like i said it's a brand new unit not this one okay it's a different one it's a brand new unit if you're interested in this one check the description box below okay thank you guys again so much and i'll see y'all in the next video